Hi, I'm Alexis Graham, and I'm in 11th grade. I'm Michael Coleman, I'm also in 11th grade. I'm Michelle Myers, and I'm in 9th grade. I'm Mary Kate Sugnor, and I'm in 10th grade. I'm Devin Gabauer, and I'm in 9th grade. I'm Francesca Bion, and I'm in 11th grade. I'm Andrea Fry, and I'm in 10th grade. I'm Kylie Steele, and I'm also in 10th grade. We wanted to be a part of this video to stop bullying and to be aware of bystander intervention. Hey, Adam. You left your locker open. This is dressy cheap. I'm having some really expensive. Really expensive. Third time this week. Hey, what's up, Lou? You got the math homework you promised us? Hmm? No, I didn't do it. I wouldn't give it to you guys if I did anyway. Oh, is that right, Lou? Yeah. Oh, let me film this. Back. Oh, you gonna wish you did that math homework now, huh, Bob? You gonna wish? Yeah, give man. It back. Yeah. Give it back. Yeah, man. Give it back. Come on, yeah, get guys. Inside get, it get inside that locker. Stop. Yeah, man. Hey, let's go. We got better things to do. Man, I know. Can't be late for class again, dog. <laughs> do you typically see bullying by girls and boys, or um, and where? Uh, well, the bullying, at least what we see here at Blackhawk, is it's pretty universal, meaning when it does happen, it doesn't uh, stop with just the boys or just the girls. We have uh, some of that going on um, in all grade levels, and uh, we're trying to we're trying to, to work with students, get them to understand that they they don't need to take the bullying, that there there are steps they can take to eliminate bullying, and especially help others not be the bystander, not allowing bullying to take place. And as the principal, what do you typically have to deal with when bullying does occur? First of all, we want to thoroughly understand the situation. So that means investigating and understanding who the players are and who's all involved in that process. And then, not only do we deal in a disciplined manner, but we deal with that situation in an educational manner, trying to educate everybody on why their actions would lead to dangerous situations. Hey, well, we're going to be a class. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Adam, you left your locker open. Yeah, hey, not again. It's the third time this week. go close for you. Uh, what's up, Lizzie? <laughs> you got that math homework you're supposed to do for us? No, I didn't do it. Hey, 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 guys. Hey, hey, come on, knock it off. Hey, Why don't you, you guys just do your own what homework, you right? Hey, up. take it easy. Why don't you guys just do your own friggin' homework and leave this guy alone? All right? Whatever, whatever, man. We'll find yeah, someone else. thanks. Have a nice day. You all right? All right. Think, have you seen Bully more, boys or girls? Oh, this is a tough eight. I think it's about the same because, you know, there's a lot of bullying going on that we don't really know about, so it's kind of hard to tell. Where do you typically see bullying and when? Um, you know, yeah, probably like mornings, definitely at lunch. There's a lot of chanting and, like, you know, people getting picked on at lunch and stuff. Uh, sometimes in gym, in the hallways, you know, can happen anywhere, really. What do you typically do when you see bullying? Uh, usually if I see it, you know, I'll just kind of be like, you know, cut it out. Especially if it's like a younger person. Uh, you know, a lot of the times it's kind of hard to tell if it's bullying or not because, you know, some people just do that stuff, just joke around with other kids. You know, it's just a really tough situation to deal with. So, what have you taken away from this uh, experience? I've taken away, like, you know, you know, the next time I see bullying, you know, you, I try to make more of an effort to stop it. And, uh, I think it, it helps a lot. It's going to help a lot of people uh, understand that it's a serious situation and it can, you know, really affect people's lives in a big way. Get out of my sight before my eyes bleed. <laughs>
So, who do you guys see bullying more often, girls or boys? I think we see more of like the cyber bullying as girls, but um, I think boys handle it probably in a different a different way than girls. Girls go behind each other's backs and talk about people opposed to boys where they may you know, fight each other somewhere. Where do you guys typically see bullying? Uh, over the internet. Over the internet, in the hallways, in the cafeterias, after school where people think the teachers are around. What do you guys typically do when you see bullying as a bystander? As a bystander, you should tell someone or get help, um, ensure your safety and the bullies, and maybe after whatever the situation was, ask the bully if they're okay, and ask them if they'd like to do something. What do you typically do when you do see it? I usually don't do it. So after doing this movie and dealing with it, what do you guys think you'll do differently? Get help. Definitely get help. Tell an adult. Um, speak up for them. And I won't let it go on again. you see boys versus girls bully and what types of bullying do each do do you think um boys are like more like they're sometimes more physical and they're sometimes like really mean to the person and girls are like really mean and say stuff about the person behind their backs where do you typically see bullying um probably in the morning or during lunch so, after this movie, what do you think you've taken away the most from? Um, I hope people realize that like, even if you're not really involved and you're just sitting there watching, you can make a difference. eBay for 10 bucks, Better man. Better than nothing. Ooh, I drive that nothing back to the scrapyard, Ooh. bro. Whatever, let's go. So who do you see typically bullying, boys or girls, and what type do each of them do? about evil, but girls it's more of like talking behind people's backs and making fun of them. And guys it's probably more physical, but they can still talk like gossip and talk about others. Sometimes it's even like girls are always working on each other. I mean I think it's like words going back and forth. Alright, so have you intervened? For me it just depends if I know the person being bullied. Like, I would intervene then and stand up for them. But if I don't know the person, I kind of feel awkward intervening. So, after, like, dealing with this movie, how has your perception of bullying changed? And what you would do? I think it makes people more aware of the problems that are going on. People do need to step up. Because if they're
up on something ten for ten bucks better than that. It's better eBay. than nothing. Ooh. What was that you just said? <laughs> nothing. Better. Shut up, man. Better. How about you take that nothing back to the junkyard, bro? Ooh. How about you guys knock it off? How would you like if someone made a comment about Yoko like that? Whatever. Hey bud, how about we go to Gecko and get some slushies? Alright, thanks, I appreciate it. My treat. Where do you typically see bullying? I think if you see bullying, I think it's more visible for the boys. And so usually that's like in the lunch line, that's in the halls. I think typically it stays out of classes. If you see it for girls, I think it's more of the exclusion. And then a lot of times you see that again in the cafeteria with someone sitting by themselves or feeling left out in different events. What do you typically do in the situation? Um, in the past, I've tried to ask people, you know, that I've known, students that I've known better to, to move around and to sit with those people or see if they would mind and try to include them. And sometimes it works um, and sometimes it doesn't. Um, if it's something more physical, like with the boys, then obviously you try to break that up and, and you take action and you call parents and you talk to the kids one-on-one -on -one to make sure that they understand what their actions, um, I guess, what, what was wrong with them and then how to fix them. eBay, buy that thing for 10 bucks, hey, man. Hey, what do you think you two are doing here? This young man's trying to get home, and you know what? I think we'll just take a walk into the school office, and we'll just take your driving privileges away. I don't think you need to drive anymore. 